this. Late night? Early morning. Who's the lucky guy? Well, apparently you. Looks like the lieutenant made it a breeze for you to get back on the force. And who pulled your transfer strings? I thought Slocum wanted to keep it. I just go where I'm sent. Believe me, I'm not very happy. Attention any black and white Pacific Blue units. 415 suspects seen heading south on the boardwalk. Four females. Looks like four citations for disturbing the peace, Officer Harper. Nice letters. Can you even read what that spells? Oh, yeah. Same as that. Let me guess, that moronic radio contest started today. doing here if I'm not mistaken you and I were both supposed to be on patrol together this morning okay so we're both trying to rack up brownie points to make sergeant damn who did you get to switch out with you Granger why because I asked Strickland oh no we left two rookies together attention any black and white or Pacific Blue units 9-11 silent alarm at Dudley Market this is 1PP7 responding Roger 1PP7 Understand English or what? You think I'm playing here? You idiot! You listen to me! You got 30 seconds to finish this little transaction or you're gonna be real sorry. I'll call for backup. Come on, what are you a moron? Open the drawer already! Open the register already! Police officer, freeze! Slowly take your hand out of your pocket. You out of your Do it now! You're a hero, Strickland. Shut up, Russ. He had his hand in his pocket. I just assumed that he was the perp. I... Which is exactly why we wait for backup, Granger. Especially in potential hostage situations. You always let the gunman exit and then take him outside. Which is exactly why we always pair rookies with experienced officers, Bobby Cruz aside. Are we all clear on this now? Mm -hmm. Strickland, you need to take the rest of the day off. I'm fine, Lieutenant. You just put a bullet in a guy's chest. Letting it bother you is part of the job. Get out of here. Granger. 
Neither one of us knew the other had switched out. If you'd been communicating instead of competing for the sergeant's position, you would have. Sorry, TC. It won't happen again. It was a mistake. You're right. It won't happen again. And if it does, I'll have to give the posting to someone from the outside. You said we were going to Magic Mountain tomorrow. You swore. I know, but an extra shift opened up and we could use the money. Especially if I'm going to get us into a new place. That's all it is with you lately. Money, money, money. New topic already. Hey, you want to go to college, right? So, you're ditching me to hang out with the blonde Nazi, huh? Oh, come on, Teresa. Don't give me a hard time, OK? It's not cool the way those kids were riding like maniacs and harassing the tourists. Tourists come here to be harassed. It's part of the local color. I worry about you sometimes. Attention any black and white or Pacific Blue units. Please respond to a 23109A and an Airstream trailer at the end of the pier. Hey! That's where KWLD's part. See you at home. On the mark. Get set. It's drag. Coming up with their eyes on the prize. What would you do to see you two? That's right. Ten thousand dollars in a trip to you two in Moscow for the most outrageous, wildest way to advertise KWLD K Wild. Yeah. Give it up, give it up. We are off to a rocking racing start thanks to these speedy contestants. Ain't that right, my brother Dick? Yeah. Couple of dicks in the morning. K Wild. Here comes the bike cops. Watch out, folks. These types leave skid marks. Oh, back me up on this, folks, but I remember when the arrival of a couple tight butts in Spanish meant the party was just about to begin. This isn't a party. It's drag racing. It's dangerous and it's illegal. I don't care what the prize is. What's your hurry, 5 -0? Or should I say Officer B. Cruz? And what does the B stand for? Would it be... Byron? Benito? Bobby? Yeah, you look like a Bobby to me. I know you, don't I? Yeah. I am the victim that every big, bad, badge-toting bully like yourself needs. Come on, Bobby, let's go. We don't have time for... A couple of dicks in the morning! In the flesh, baby, and in your face! Your dick is burning, right? Teresa! And, uh, who is this hottie, officer uptight? That hottie is my 15-year-old sister. Back off. Relax, Bobby. I'm a huge fan. Really? <laughs> I like the way she says huge, don't you, Dick? Very promising, Dick. Teresa Maria Cruz, I want to talk to you. Not as bad as I do. Bobby, you're hurting me. Teresa, I got a stretch limo and a pair of tickets to see Fish Betty tonight at the Palladium if you can answer this K Wild, Wild Q. Give it to me, Dick. <laughs> All right. Is your brother really obsessed with the size of his weapon? Um, well, Dick, let's just say I catch him handling it a lot when he thinks no one's looking. <laughs> You're a winner! And your brother's a loser! Look, I'm looking for a place you guys know of anything? Uh-uh. Not me. What about those two guys who took a powder a couple months ago? I mean, what's up with their pad? Victor and Lieutenant Palermo did not take a powder, Monica. They retired. But they moved out, right? Yeah, and their place is rented real quick. Well, you guys will let me know if anything comes up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great, thanks. What are you doing? place opened up in my building, and I don't want that woman any closer than necessary. Hey, I hear Bobby Cruz and his sister need a place. Bingo. When I told you I'd take you out to get plowed, I didn't know I'd have to give you lessons on how to do it. Get off my case, Russ. Crawled up your butt. 
Explain something to me. You're the one who screwed up today. You're the one that could have been killed. But I didn't. Yeah, because I saved your butt. You're my hero. So how come you're the one knocking back shooters like it's a regular night, and I'm the one sitting here feeling so profoundly crappy? One word. Estrogen. Oh, I have a better word. Denial. Whatever gets you through the night, babe. See you later. You, uh, must be pretty tired of it. I'm tired of a lot of things. Why don't you do yourself a favor and don't become the next one? I don't intend to. I just... I'd like the chance to make up for your lousy day. How did you know my day was lousy? That's pretty obvious to any guy who's paying attention to you instead of himself. It's a school night, Teresa. You're right. Good night. I don't think so. What's in the bag? Party favors. You know, some hash brownies, some shrooms, couple of crack vials. Souvenirs. Poor backstage VIPs only. Look, I know you think going to the K-Wild Beach Party is cool, but... As if you know what's cool anymore. It isn't cool. When you've got a big bio test the next morning, one you spent the whole weekend cramming and stressing about. You're like Samson. As soon as you chopped off your hair to become a cop, you became like this total joy-killing grown-up. Ah, Teresa. I became a grown-up the day Mom and Dad were killed. I don't know why I thought a shower was gonna get rid of this headache. Trust me, close your eyes. And swallow. I know there's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not up for it. All right, the last time that I saw you was right before I went to the John. And when I came back, you were gone. Well, I must have kept on drinking, because the last thing I remember, you were tossing some pretty boy. Strickland, you make me so proud. Knew there was hope for you. If you're my friend, you'll shoot me. <sighs> the old cocktail napkin origami flower? Simple yet very effective. If I ain't told you how many times that I got late. Grade A meat. Grade A meat sounds like my kind of place. I think someone slipped me something, Russ. Oh, give me a break. You got wasted, you had a good time. Don't make any excuses. Well, how do I know I had a good time? I can't even remember half the night. Look, you want to play like a pro? You gotta pay like a pro. Come here. Oh my God, Russ. I can't find my badge. My badge, it's gone. You may have bigger problems. <sighs> you better take that personal day Lieutenant gave you. Go get a blood test and a rape kit. Sergeant Calloway, I bet you're so used to saying that alone when it's official. You'll be real used to it. Nothing's been decided yet, Monica. <laughs> yeah, right. I have to say I admire your tactics, though. Going all the way to marriage? And what tactics did you use to mysteriously obtain a transfer to our unit? You know what's going to be trippy? You've been moaning for months now. Oh, my God, Sergeant Calloway. You're finally gonna have someone moan it to you? Attention any Pacific Blue units. Four suspects cited impersonating officers between Navy and Rose. This is 1PB3 responding. Roger, 1PB3. This is 1PB5, also responding.
Granger. I do the honors. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you... Chris, what are you doing? The cannon will be used against you in a court of law. You all right? Actually, I'm, uh... three weeks and two days from all right. I'm pregnant, Chris. Bartender, great A me. Confirm you were there last night? Find your badge? Nope. You know the name of the guy you were with? No. They said the guy's a regular. All right. So he'll show up again? It gets better. Not only did I show up with him, but I left with him, too. Listen to me, we're gonna get this creep, okay? How? With our fantastic police work? They were out of the ways. There better be. Because as cops, you suck. Come on. When you took the shower, you were trying to nurse a hangover, not destroy evidence of a... I am positive that someone slipped me some GHB. But now, I will never know if I was raped or not. We are gonna find this dude. And we are gonna beat him. So bad that he'll wish we'd have killed him. Oh, that'll be good. Huh, what do you want to do? You want to tell the lieutenant? Oh, yeah. Hi, lieutenant. I got drunk. I got drugged. I got violated, maybe. And I washed away whatever evidence there may have been. But I sure hope that this doesn't affect your opinion of me as a cop. Because I know I could do a good job. I hope you both appreciate how difficult this decision was for me. Congratulations, Sergeant McNamara. Oh. Congrats. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to puke. That wasn't exactly the reaction I was expecting. I bet it wasn't. You going to make sure she's OK? Maybe you need to get some air. Who needs air? You know, you've, you've got a great look. You should call me sometime, even if you have rep. Because I'm the best. <laughs> In every way. <laughs> hey, you weren't trying to pick up on my date, were you? No. I'm here to see the adorable man who gave me this. Sleep, Chris. Is that what you were hoping for when you were at the gym for three hours? Of course not. I was just trying to make up for slacking off last week. Whatever. Something on your mind? Don't be an idiot, TC. Not tonight. I thought we were okay with this. No, no, no. You hoped and you prayed that I'd be okay with this, but you knew damn well that I wouldn't. And I still had to make a decision. I scored higher on the sergeant's exam. By five points. You've also been written up several times for a poor attitude. That was in my rookie year. Corey's been on the job longer, and you've been known to bend the rules when... The job isn't black and white, TC. Chris, you're a great cop. 
Corey's just a better example. It's not personal. Bull, everything's personal. You think this would be easier if you were sergeant? You'd be bending over backwards every day trying to prove to everybody that you deserve this. You don't think I get enough crap already for sleeping with the boss? I could have handled it. You just underestimate me. Not today I didn't. Today I overestimated you. So, when you say I was a lot of fun last night, are we talking dancing on the table fun or something more? You know that you're a great storyteller? Yeah, you told us all kinds of tales about your misadventures at the police academy. Ooh, here's one I pick. <laughs> Everybody, this is my roommate. He won't be staying. You out of your skull with this? You might as well have left the trail of breadcrumbs. It was an impulse. She, she was so sweet. No, she took pity on you, moron. Maybe she really digs me. Get a hold of that fantasy. Choke it and eject her. She's a cop. It's too risky. Really? Isn't that why she's worth 100 points? What am I worth? 65. Didn't we learn our lesson about working without backup? What do I need you for? If I want to kick his ass, I'll do it myself. A name. All we need is a name. Darren Lowell. About the only thing Papa Strickland passed down to me. Picking pockets. Strickland? Marry me? He just doesn't seem the type. He's exactly the type. He's a geek, and so are his poser friends. And the uh, wasted broad with the power suit? She's gonna be next. <laughs> Damn it. They're gone. Look, I am really not feeling well, so unless you're the messenger delivering my script. Miss Eller, I'm Jamie. We met last night at a bar. Grade A meet. You're a freak. I've never heard of it. I'm a cop. Right. So where's the badge? I saw you with a short, sandy-haired man. It's my suspicion that he drugged you and took sexual advantage of you. I don't think so. I was wondering if you'd be willing to submit to a blood test and a rape kit. How would you know? Because I think the same thing happened to me. Yet? No, but Sergeant McNamara just told me something opened up in the building. She did, didn't she? Hmm. Well, there's a real good idea. You can cozy up to your new sergeant. Maybe she'll even let you kiss her stripes. So you're really <laughs> hey, isn't that your? Shh. How in the world did you manage to stay so pure? When you got a cop for a brother, there ain't too many volunteers. Okay, let's just say a brave Samaritan did rise to the occasion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, you might have two, like, takers right here. <laughs> so would you say that he's a good cop? Yeah, I guess so. Any problems on the force? You know, violence. Howdy. I mean, you hear about that stuff happening all the time. Um, I don't think I should be talking about that. Well, speak of the devil. Get down, Teresa. You're making a fool of yourself. And of us, somebody else, I might add. Can't you see he's just using you to piss me off? Looks like he's doing a good job then, doesn't it? Teresa, go home. You ditch school again, you're grounded. Well, there's a new section in the crew's penal code. No, uh, you better listen to him, Teresa. He's starting to show that angry Latin side. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want him to lose his temper at me the way he does his suspects. Smoldering. Wow, well, you know what? This is Dick Brennan. And Dick Ellis. A couple of dicks. In the morning. Here at the K-Wild Beach Party. We'll see whether or not when we come back, if a little TLC from the dicks can mend this local family torn asunder. Stay with us. Wait a second. Now I remember you. We went to high school together. No, we went to the same school, but we never did anything together. Hey, listen. I catch you near my sister again. You'll be sorry. You hearing me, Dick?
Bobby, come on. Let's go. Don't worry about it, amigo. Besides, I pick my flowers in private. I can't believe it took you that long. You haven't even asked me what I'm going to do about my situation. Figured if you wanted to talk about it, you'd talk about it. Well, I guess there's nothing to talk about yet. Does Doug know? No. But I'm thinking about having this baby, Chris. This should be really hard with your new job and all. Is that what your problem is? Me becoming your superior? I don't have a problem with it, Corey. Right. And that chill is coming from an Arctic cold front coming in from the Pacific. I said I've already accepted being your subordinate, but as a friend, shouldn't you want an honest opinion? Yeah. Honesty among friends is real important. Hey, ladies. Hey. hey. Guess what? 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 I found a place. That's just super, Monica. Yeah, it, it's right by the beach. It's right by the station. Congratulations. And it's close to you. Whoa, whoa. Close, close to who? Close to me or close oh, to... Oh, it's this little white house. It's got green trim, raw iron fence, little bird bath in the front. Oh, and there's even this funny little gargoyle who sits under this tree in the front yard. Kind of dig it. Wait a minute. I know that place. Well, you should. It's right next to you and the lieutenant. I, I hope you don't mind if I come over and borrow a cup of sugar now and then. You see, I bake a lot of cookies. Well, I'll see you around, neighbor. Ugh. Saltine? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't even know what a, a, a TLC is. TLC? TLC. No! Get off me, man! I, I told you, I haven't done anything! Well, you better hope to God that's true. Because even though I don't believe you, Jamie doesn't think you would have done that to her. But if you give her any reason to doubt her own judgment... I swear, I would never do anything to hurt her or betray her trust. Well, I'm gonna make sure of that. Because I'm gonna be sticking real close by. Officer Green, you're out here now. Who's the suspect? He's not a suspect. So what is this? Routine questioning. Thanks for your help. You can go now. Hey, you want to tell me what this is about? It's nothing. It's a, a misunderstanding. You're going to tell me what's going on. Why, because you're my sergeant? Damn right. And if you don't, I'm going to put you on disciplinary. Bet you've just been waiting for an excuse, haven't you? And she's gonna have to keep on waiting. We suspect that there's a group of guys committing rapes out of a bar called Grade A Meat. They're drugging them with GHB. How do you know that? Because I may be one of the victims. Do you have any evidence? No. Actually, the suspects have the evidence. They, uh... Stole my badge. Well, this just gets better and better. Do have a second GHB victim with evidence of sexual intercourse, but no DNA and no memory. Guy work on him. Does this have to go to the lieutenant? Yeah. But not for 48 hours. So you and Officer Cement Head have that long to figure this out. After that. Thank you. Jamie. If there's any other way I can help you handle this. Sign this. What's that all about? Maybe it's better if you didn't know. What happened to honesty between friends? Or is this your first command decision? Well, that depends. Are you asking me as a friend or as a fellow officer or Mrs. T.C. Calloway? I didn't know I had to choose. got a lead. Darren and his two buddies went to Pacific U. Turns out they got in trouble for harassing sorority girls. No wonder they're friends. So the three sick musketeers. That still doesn't tell us exactly what they're up to. Yeah, but the dean of students told me someone who can. A guy named Philip Heron, the fourth musketeer. So you found some misfits to fit in with. I just thought they'd grow out of it after graduation. Like. The angry nerd thing would end when they were successful, but they were only getting sicker by the minute, and they were still playing the game only worse. What game? Treasure hunt. 
there's a list with a bunch of girls on it, or types of girls. Everyone throws in a lot of money, and whoever has the most points by the deadline wins. Points? Each kind of girl is rated easy up to in your dreams loser. Stewardess is 10 points, teachers 30, all the way up to rock stars, politicians, and CEOs. What about a female cop? That would be huge. Mm -hmm. And how long would a pregnant officer be forced to stay on desk duty? Really? And in terms of assignments, promotability, how heavily do they weigh a female officer's situation? I see. So you must be relieved to see that Officer Kelly's finally figured out a way to accept defeat gracefully. What are you talking about? I'm talking about getting ready to spawn in the near future. You know, jumping from the fast track to the mommy track. She must be taking his lemons and making lemonade. Makes me thirsty just thinking about it. Where'd you hear that? Mrs. Lieutenant's been making phone calls. What kind of phone calls? You know, the kind that we tell you only some of the consequences of a female officer getting pregnant. Let's talk about a fatter bun and bigger thighs, for starters. Harper. Well, it's not exactly my recommendation of a honeymoon marriage period, but if I was swimming in a lieutenant's gene pools, I guess I'd be a little impatient, too. I haven't said a thing. But you want to. Yeah, I think he should know. Well, what stopped you? I mean, after all, he is your husband. Isn't that why you just can't believe that I got the promotion? I haven't told him because, one, you're my friend, and two, I thought you should. Why? It's personal. It has nothing to do with the way that I do my job. Well, if that's true, then why are you hiding it? Chris, I deserve this promotion. And besides, I didn't think you really wanted it since you added MRS to the front of your name. I just assumed that you wanted to concentrate on that for a while. Pregnancy made you crazy? Me? I am not the one sneaking around my friend's back making phone calls. I do not want this to ruin our friendship. It won't. It'll just take some adjusting. That's all. T! Hey! I got us a pizza. Guy gave me so much extra cheese, he could have charged me double. <laughs> T! to the Lilith Fair. Mm. I told you I'm a sensitive guy. What more proof do you need? My badge for starters. Excuse me? You know, the one you took for a souvenir after you slipped me the GHB. <laughs> I'm out of here. In a few minutes, you're not going to be able to drive anyway. You drugged me? Now you're going to know what it feels like. Why don't you ask him how much you were worth, Jay? His buddy Phil seemed to think that Bagging you would be a real game ender. You can't prove that I've done anything. I want to know where her badge is. Then I want to know the names of all the women you losers have abused. So I don't have to go throw you off a building. But the only thing that happened that night is I met a beautiful woman that I expected to blow me off, but she didn't. You have three seconds to cut the crap! All right, all right. I, uh, I, I, I was way behind in points when I saw you patrol on the boardwalk a couple of weeks ago, so when I spotted you at the How many bar... points was I worth to you? 100. Look, these, these other women that we picked, they're all just condescending witches, and... Before the stuff kicked in, you were being so nice to me in your own. That's because you were being nice to me. And that's why I called you a cab and I sent you home. Maybe that's where your badge is. You mean you didn't... We didn't... No, Jamie. We barely even kissed. I wanted to be with you, but... I wanted it to be real. Are you okay, Teresa?
Are you hurt? Did someone hurt you? I was at Dick Ellis's house last night. What did he do to you, Teresa? That's freaking brutality! You open your mouth again, it's gonna be homicide. Lieutenant, your officer is out of control. No one forced little sister to come over last night. What the hell did you do to her? Are you admitting that she stayed at your place last night? All night. You ever notice how adorable she looks when she's sleeping? <laughs> You think statutory rape is funny? Rape? Who said anything about rape? Did I say anything about rape? Bobby, Lieutenant, there's a possible jumper at the end of the pier, fitting Teresa's description. Dick Ellis coming to you live from Santa Monica where tragedy seems to be unfolding. A distraught young woman is on the pier. She's threatening to jump. We're going to go over there right now. We're going to see what we can do to help her. Teresa. Teresa. Honey, just come on. C come down, okay? Everything will be okay. Oh, I know it will. Get him the hell out of here. No. I want him to see this. Teresa, what's going on, and how can I help? I don't need your help. I just need you to watch. Teresa, whatever he did to you, it's not that bad. Teresa, tell him I didn't do anything. Look, honey, just come down, okay? We can talk through this, I promise. Teresa, let me be your friend. I mean, that is what we were becoming. You guys are trying to save my life. Teresa, I know I've blown you off lately, and I'm sorry. Maybe if I hadn't, this creep never could have hurt you. I didn't hurt her, Cruz. Yeah, just my pride. When you totally dissed me last night while you got drunk with those bimbos. Richard Ellis. Nice yearbook photo, Mr. Most Likely to Die a Virgin. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. This whole thing's getting way out of hand. Let's settle this off the air, okay? Richard Ellis? You're the guy I used yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably don't remember my face because you were busy slamming it into lockers or flushing it down toilets. So you've done all this to my sister because of some stupid ancient grudge? You used to kick the crap out of this dweeb while you got all the women he ever wanted? I doubt he finds that stupid. Teresa, this loser isn't worth it. You'll get over him. Yeah, well, first he has to get over himself. And so do you, Bobby. Like I'd dive off a pier for anyone less than Bono? I'm going. I'm going to see you, too! Teresa! Woo! something. It's like she was spooked. She's gone cold on you because she's a bitch. All right, she's been playing with you, man. <sighs> no, 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 no. Something was really there. Yeah, a mirage. You're seeing what you want to see. How could you think that a woman like that would possibly be interested? Not in this reality. Her roommate's been sniffing around again. Oh, testosterone boy? Yeah, he's sniffing around because he wants something that you want. Same thing you didn't get. What are you talking about? He didn't forget to pinch a souvenir from her. You didn't nail her. I saw you put her in that cab. So what? So game's over, pal. How do you figure? Well, I couldn't stand to see a 100-point opportunity get wasted, so I uh, took her out of the cab and took her home. I win. You're lying. You asked Craig. He helped put her in my car. I even got a little something to remember her by. You son of a bitch. Chill. Ranger, we got him. Chill out. Chill out. You set me up. Yep. And I felt bad about it until about a minute ago. Don't kid yourself, you're any better than I am. You're just more pathetic. Let him go, Russ. Although, maybe you should get used to having a strong man's hands on you, because I will surely be the last woman you ever have. Maybe even your last anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jamie. Let her go. Come on, tough guy. Strickland, please. Look, I know that whole rap about young Betty's having poor self-image, but come on. No, I am serious, Russ. There is a part of me who knows what those guys are feeling like. No, you don't. You grew out of it. They turn it into a crime spree. You never get over it. Always have that dorky little kid inside. Even when you grow into a goddess? Why are you working me so hard, Granger? You know you ain't gonna get any. I'm just practicing, partner. Why don't you go practice on her? She's the one who has to get used to fending off dogs like you. <laughs> so, Teresa, what are you gonna do with the 10 grand? She put it away for college. His idea. Yo, T, how'd you get to be so cool with a role model like this guy? Yeah. She is pretty cool, isn't she? Oh, no. Give it a rest, boys. The other U2 ticket is going to one of my homegirls. Hey, I'm your brother. And I, I am your brother's super cool, super fun friend. I am Mr. Cool. He's Mr. Dork. You do not I want to kick him out. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I need you both not going. I need my well, All your little friends like me. Chris Kelly? Yeah, I called earlier about getting those forms to request a transfer. Right. From Pacific Blue? 